Have we been? Have we been over there? No, we never crossed this bridge, did we? Let's go in here and sell some junk. Oh, I keep forgetting I can't do that. I don't have the skills. I swear. Not being able to set, uh, sell to vending machines is a lot of hassle. So we're finally in a new area. Maybe I should get my hammer. Just in case. Wait, we have been here. This is where the dude was dead, right? Yeah, it is. Alright, so we have been here, but we didn't go much further than this. So this is where we stopped and we turned around and went back. These jets are freaking huge, dude. Okay then. Purpleberry Orchards. Maybe we'll find out who killed uh, that one dude. Sydney Mo Moyano. Well, well, oh well, my well, god! Rizzos. Welcome to the Purpleberry Nut Hut, you wonderful, wonderful customer. Thank you for giving my humble existence value. What is wrong no with her face? You value. It is yours intrinsically. You just need notice it. But you seem happy regardless. <laughs> I sure am. Good lamps you got on you to take notice. I <laughs> Vicar's very passive aggressive nature is hilarious. Also, what in the hell is on her neck? Oh my god. What is on your neck? Oh, that? I call it my little passenger. I don't know why. The name just appeared in my head when this thing showed up on my neck. <laughs> That's disgusting. Don't move, and I'll try to cut it off. Don't you dare, or I'll cut something off you. Oh my god. Gosh, I'm sorry. I don't know where that came from. I just felt this urge to protect my little passenger. Even if it means hurting you. This is very, like, slightly uh, disturbing. That's not normal behavior. How long have you been like this? Couple of days. Ever since it showed up, I've been feeling happier and happier. I really can't imagine life without my little passenger. So where did you find this quote-unquote little passenger of yours? I don't know. It just appeared one day. I guess I just picked it up while working in the orchards. Sometimes I wonder how it showed up, and I start to worry. But worrying feels bad, and I hate feeling bad. So I don't worry about it. This is so disturbing. Uh, that's great. Can we change the topic? Now I'd love to get you something. Maybe a couple somethings? Whatever you like, I can sell it to you at a low, low price. Oh my god, her face is so disturbing. Anything you can tell me about the orchards? I'm so glad you asked. The orchards are my third favorite subject, with my first being Rizzo's refreshing drinks and my second being Rizzo's toothsome confectionaries. Our orchards are the source of 63% of Rizzo's total produce, which correlates to 112% of fresh goods throughout all of Halcyon. Give or take a few percent, of course. If you want to know more about each part of the orchards, might I recommend one of our fantastic tours? One of our options is even audio guided as a special bonus feature. All 100% irrelevant information, but thank you. Uh, I might be more interested in hearing about the tours. I'm so glad you said that. Our tours are my fourth favorite subject. Fourth? Every part of the orchards is so rich with Rizzo's lore. Buy a tour ticket and anoint yourself with knowledge. Knowledge. What are my options? We have three tour options. Premium, Premium Plus, and the Golden Ticket. Each option is wonderful in its own special way. Premium includes a 10 minute pass to the Sprat Petting Zoo. Premium Plus comes with the novelty Purpleberry and Amber, and the Golden Ticket is audio guided in addition to being self-guided. 
Sure, why not? Which kind would you like? I'll take the golden. Yeah. You're in luck. We have one left. Normally there are a hundred bits, but seeing how I'm sold out of everything else, I can give it to you for just 90. How does that sound? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? That's great. Thank you so much. Let's see what she has for sale. Hold on, Halcyon on Helens was in the orchards before she died, so have you seen her? No, I'm sorry. The only celebrity who shopped recently is Black Hole Birdie. Quite the affable man, as it so happens. And the stories are wrong. He could probably lift two benches of toss ball players at once, not just one. Laws, not just affable, but virile, too. Ooh, wait a minute. Now that his bow's dead, that means Bertie's single. Maybe I'll strike up a little more than conversation the next time he comes by. I don't think anyone's gonna want to date you, sweetheart. First of all, you're creepy. Your smile is disturbing. Your eyes are very, very unsettling. And let's not even begin to talk about that monstrosity that you have on your neck. <laughs> uh... You know Birdie's a suspect in Helen's murder uh, investigation, right? Oh my! Birdie, a murderer? Well, everyone has their flaws. I'll be sure <laughs> not to bring it up on our first date. Oh my gosh, she's so disturbing. All right, let's see what she's got for sale. Uh, just food. Got it. Our alcohol stocks are large. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. So we got a golden ticket. Overseeing Orchard's office. That is honestly kind of a, I don't know what it is. It might be the little lamps, but it's kind of a cute little building. Ah, stuck. Maybe I could hold up my end if your people weren't sabotaging my operations. Wow. So there's a mad scientist and a sublight underground guy. Let's start with him. Sabotaging the orchards weren't enough. You had to make it personal. You really had to bust my Insta coffee maker too? The nerve. Uh, hold that asinine, asinine thought. <laughs> Who this armed stranger just wandered into your office? Back up for a fight you can't finish? What the hell are you talking about? I don't know this fella. I think it's mightily more likely that he's under your payroll. Here to burn down what you haven't already. Uh, neither actually. I see. Just a visitor, then. Congratulations, Hathaway. Not everyone's abandoned your orchards. Well, shame that you're trying to change that. Anyway, sorry for the heated reception, stranger. There's just been some trouble here of late. Name's <coughs> Overseeing Orchardist Hathaway, and I'm in charge of these orchards. Though it seems like certain groups, which will remain unnamed, are trying to change that. Looks like I'm stuck playing the part of a customer service rep. Guess it's different from the usual, at least. Uh, something I can do for you? I heard you mentioned sabotage. Yeah, just another woe to add to the pile. In the past, the orchard subcontracted security work from Slug. You know, keep the malcontents on staff from causing too much trouble. But between the Spectrum Brown unveiling demanding all of our resources and the recent uptick in worker accidents, we just ain't got the budget for security. And, of course, Slug has decided that instead of being reasonable, they're just gonna sabotage our operations until we start paying them again. Look at the poor Rizzo's manager, lying about Sublight to make himself feel better. Shame he skipped where Rizzo's were short on our payments months before the new unveiling. Look, at the end of the day, it's obvious that Slug is sabotaging us. I ain't paying until they come clean. I mean, I can figure out what's really going on if you want. Thank the law, some good news. You hear that, lapdog? Truth's coming. Better fess up while you still can outside of an interrogation room. While I'm sure you'd love to have a scapegoat on whom you can pin your own incompetence, I suspect you'll be disappointed. But what do I know? I suppose it's up to your new hiree. Well, that's interesting. Do you have anything to say? to come in on such a brusque conversation. Not everyone appreciates the work Slug does on Eridanos. Especially not folk that Slug is trying to extort. 
All right, it seems I need to say it yet again. We're not stomping upon your purple berries or knocking your workers off the planetoid. All we want is for you to pay your dues. And I want you to stop setting our exterminator mechanicals loose and breaking our machinery. This is how the conversation has gone for the last hour and a half. <laughs> As you can see, it hasn't been terribly productive. Uh, so what seems to be the problem with the over uh, with overseeing the orchards? Well, he's being difficult, as you've no doubt seen. All I'm here to do is enforce an agreed-upon business relationship. But our friend here is disinclined to settle. Don't tell me to settle. Why don't you settle? Yes, I'll be sure to do that. I know what you must be thinking, but no, I'm not here to atomize his kneecaps. I just want to talk to him what we're owed. <laughs> uh, any truth to this, uh, to his accusations of sabotage? If I hear that question one more time, I swear. Yeah. Look, we just want to get paid. Hampering our clients' productivity is not a good way to get paid. In fact, it's bad business. Yeah, he's not wrong. Mm. Is this an official arrangement with Rizzo's? Much as we love giving the bureaucrats 29% of our profits, technically not. Official contracts have some rather obscene fees and documentation. So it's extortion. Instead, our company's opted for a non-official manager's agreement. I'm just here to make certain our friend over there pays on time. Uh, are you sure? Because you sound a little bit like an extortionist. Do I? Yeah, you do. Didn't realize that expecting my company to be paid for its work was extortion. You should try telling that to the board. Regardless, Slug's Protection Service has ensured that Rizzo's has had zero problems with its shipments at the docks. And all for a reasonable price. We haven't been hostile when their payments came up short either. In fact, Rizzo's is more of a danger to the orchards than us, considering all the workplace injuries. How much? I, I I don't want to pay for it, but I want to know how much this would be. Maybe I could pay what he owes. That's you're weird, generous, <laughs> but weird. The sentiment is nice, but Rizzo's doesn't just pay money. They're also literally our meal tickets. Unless you also happen to own an orchard, I don't think you can clear this guy. This guy's definitely an extortionist. Yes, I think we've spoken enough about that imbecile. What can Slug do for you? And we know it's not the company. It's just him, I think. Or maybe it is Slug, I don't know. Uh, you see any sign of Halcyon Helen recently? Nope. Sorry. But this is the first I've visited this area in over a month. Shame about Helen. Liked her movies. I don't buy it. A real fan would have had more agony in his voice. Celebs <laughs> so as big as Helen always seem to elicit strong binary opinions in people. But that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Felix is so stupid, I swear. Uh, I mean that in a good way. Uh, I'd like to ask a little bit more about You're you. You're welcome to. I don't have any secrets. Yet. Uh, do you do anything other than make sure Slug's business partners pay on time? Certainly. When I'm not out on a job, they usually stick me in the slug mess hall. I may be a service collector, but that doesn't mean I can't make a damn fine trip of kale pie. Okay then. Later. Yeah, there's definitely something more going on with that. That's a lot of purple. It is. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Oh, that scared me a little bit. I'm willing to bet it's this guy. No? Okay, well then. Effusive host? So there's something around here somewhere. Oh, wait, footsteps. Is this Helen's? These footprints match the shoes previously analyzed in the grand ballroom. There is a 110% chance with a 10% margin of error that they were left by Ruth Bellamy, the actress known as Halcyon Helen. Wow, that's interesting. Uh, examine the foot. Yeah, the depth and spacing. 
Well, unable to deduce any further details. Can I not get out Did of here? Did you find something? <laughs> this is so stupid. I can, I can deduce that Helen had Zaltuna for breakfast last week. Pretty obvious if you uh, know what you're looking for. You're really getting the hang of this inspector business. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. So we know Helen's been here. The orchards, purpleberry, puzzle hedges, the conservatory, storage warehouse, the hive, the purpleberry nut hut, and the ground colonial. Oh, hold on. Let me see. So we do have... A side quest. That doesn't even tell me where to go next. So I'm just going to activate this side quest. Or the fight uh, faction quest. And see what's up with this. Stop the uh, auto mechanicals. Well, that's something for sure. Hey, you. Oh, my God. Sweet hello there, valued visitor. I am sure sorry to break it to you, but our orchards are closed to all officially guided tours at this precise moment in time. I don't mean to alarm you, but I'm pretty sure that grin is permanent. <laughs> Why, thank you! Rizzo's encourages all workers to put on a happy face when engaging with valued customers. <laughs> Rizzo oh my God! You to please purchase one of our self-guided options if you're wishing to join one of our rejuvenative, relaxing, reformatory tours. Now with a puzzle hedges trademark maze hunt and special edition taste testing for an extra thirty-five bits a ticket. God, their face is so disturbing. Uh, are you okay? You seem excessively happy. Why, you say that as if it's a bad thing. <laughs> I am quite overcome with happiness, indeed. You won't find a Rizzo's worker in all the Veradanos who isn't a hundred percent thrilled in their day-to-day -day existence. It's part of our brand manifesto. I can't get my eyes off of that thing on his neck. What do you mean? Happy workers lead to happy customers. Happy customers are repeat customers. And repeat customers make the charts look better on our weekly profit reports. So if nothing else, it's my responsibility at all times to smile, smile, smile. And you know what never fails to bring a smile to my face? The breathtaking tours we offer throughout the orchards. Seasonally available for purchase in the Nut Hut. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I got a tour ticket, uh, tour ticket already. But tell me more about the orchards. An excellent decision you most certainly won't have cause to regret. Now, presently, you're standing smack dab in the pride and joy of Rizzo's nearly natural product development sector. We call this fecund landscape the Purple Berry Orchards, since that's our main crop. But we also sow and grow mock apples, nanners, pea free nuts, tarmac, and more. Of course, tours of any access level must be suspended during a scheduled pollinization cycle. Our wasp kiddos are quite territorial and have been known to sting both workers and visitors alike. I'm having the hardest time focusing on what he's saying with that gigantic thing on his neck. Uh, are you the groundskeeper? Yes, indeedy. I've got the wondrous honor of having just been promoted to third keeper of the grounds after the last one disappeared on the job. Gosh, I guess about a week ago now. Before my morning clock in last Sunday, I was but a lowly nanner peeler picker on the line shift. Now I'm responsible for growing every twig and berry on this vast swath of fertile land. Yeah, something seems off. Besides the obvious. Uh, you don't find it suspicious that the last groundkeeper went missing seemingly unexpectedly? Heaven sweet, no. It's not like he was murdered. He simply disappeared without a trace and hasn't been heard from since. <laughs> and the groundkeeper before that one? Well, she wasn't missing at all. Her body was found near hive control, covered head to toe in thousands of welts. No mystery and certainly no murder with what happened there. <laughs> 
I mean, you can't exactly hold some wasp heroes on trial. <laughs> accidents do happen on the job. There seems to be a lot of quote-unquote accidents that happens on this floating fortress. Uh, we are not glossing over this missing groundskeeper. No one knows what happened to him? Can't speak for others, but I most assuredly don't. I reckon you could talk to my supervisor, the overseeing orchardist. He would know more. I used to ask questions, but gee, I just don't feel the urge to anymore. <laughs> oh my god. So, what was that about the wasquitoes and pollinization? Pollinization by killer wasquitoes, indeedy. It's cutting edge Rizzo's technology. But don't you worry, valued visitor. Our pollinization cycles only run when the orchards are empty. For safety reasons. When a pollinization cycle finishes or is aborted, all wasquitoes are biologically programmed to return to the hive, their holding pen. Of course, the very last thing Rizzo's would want is a beloved tourist bumbling into the hive and triggering an unscheduled cycle. So you'd best steer clear of it for safety. You'll know the hive by its big, glimmering electric fencing. Well... Enough about the orchard. Caution, goody gumdrops, but I could talk about the orchards till my lips fell off. <laughs> I don't think you're far Instead, from there. Let's talk about whatever interests you, because that's what interests me, too. Huh. Uh... Do you know if Halcyon Helen came through here? Ah, uh, you mean that lovely actor who got herself dead? Damn shame what happened <laughs> to her. She did come by, but not during any official tour time. I thought she'd hired a private tour at first, but it was Dr. Blossom who was showing her the way to the RR and DD labs. Can't imagine why she'd need to meet with our head researcher on the Spectrum product line outside of her lab hours. Unless, of course, it had to do with the new product unveiling. Didn't someone tell me that she didn't come? And he's telling me something different. Man, there's so much, uh... Lying with some of these people. So Helen was the spokesperson, uh, spokeswoman for uh, Spectrum Brown's ad campaign. That's right. She was. She sure made for some lovely adverts. Maybe it might have involved an issue with the launch batch then? I can't rightly say. All I know is one of our certified tour guides could have given her a much more comprehensive tour of the grounds were that her interest. Seen any murder weapons lying around? A uh, bottle of poison, a smoking laser pistol, a uh, bloodied, blunt-forced object, anything like that? Can't say that I have. We use bad batches of liquor for our pesticides. Only <laughs> the exterminator mechanicals are armed around here. And I haven't seen any bloody objects aside from the usual pair of gardening shears. Unless, that is, Miss Helen was also stung to death by pollinization wasquitoes? She wasn't, was she? That would be a mighty wretched way to go. So, deadly pollinized waspitos. Pollinization by killer waspitos, indeedy. It's cutting edge Rizzo's technology. But don't you worry, valued visitor. Our pollinization cycles only run when the orchards are empty. For safety reasons. When a pollinization cycle finishes or is aborted, all wasquitoes are biologically programmed to return to the hive, their holding pen. Of course, the very last thing Rizzo's would want is a beloved tourist bumbling into the hive and triggering an unscheduled cycle. So you'd best steer clear of it for safety. You'll know the hive by its big glimmering electric fencing. Good to know, thank you. Of course. Uh, I'm on an investigation. What kind of investigation? You wouldn't happen to be from the health inspection office, would you? No. Can't say that I am. Actually, I'm on the hunt for Halcy on Helen's Killer. Grizzly stuff, that. I heard the poor gal got her brain pan bashed in. Not that she probably had much rattling around there to start with, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Dumb. Can't say that I do. Eh, don't feel too bad. I couldn't follow a word he said. He said your <laughs> intellect was wanting, Captain. Not that you'd know what that's like. <laughs> well, all that matters is that someone wanted her brain to stop working, right? But no Rizzo's employee would commit such an atrocity. 
We're far too content with life for that. Won't find an unhappy Rizzo's employee in all of Eridanos. No diddly dee dum, you won't. <laughs> I can't look at his face or the thing on his neck without being absolutely creeped out. Oh my god. All right, later. I do hope this pleasant <clears throat> conversation has made me useful to you. Rizzo's likes it when we're useful to customers, and I like anything Rizzo's likes. If you say so, later. I can't stop you from poking around, but do be mindful of our pollinization hive. Wasquitos tend towards aggressive at the best of times. There's a reason why we keep him behind an electric fence, you know. Good to know. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Ah, haha. -ha. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. So first of all, the prints go that way, but there's something else over here that I want to inspect. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. You can let me analyze or what? Or is it the floor? Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. That was weird. Timeline discrepancy detected what could nearby. That have been? Oh! 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 What? Is going on here? What is going on? Why are they attacking me? What is going on here? He's throwing stuff at me. He's covered in those slugs. He is covered in those slugs. Oh my god. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Where? Got it. Wait. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. There's some more right here. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actor. Does she have Halcyon Helen? Does he have to repeat that every time? Who are you, Carter Reynolds? Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Where? Oh, there they are. So it looks like she walked straight through here. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Is there seriously another one? Yeah, she walked right out here. So I'm not going to continue on yet. Hey, God. What are you doing in here? Are you authorized to be in the conservatory? Are you trying to give me a heart attack? Are you my ex-wife? <laughs> She fell off the side of Eridanos under mysterious circumstances six years ago. Oh my god. Conveniently rendering our marriage contract null. You must be the new uh, groundskeeper? No. Hmm, I can't be it either, seeing how the new one hasn't died yet. Just who are you? What is... What? What? Th that Everything he said was... You know, low-key alarming. Let me see. I'm a freelance captain. I've been hired to investigate Halcyon Helen's murder. An inspector? Well, I don't think you'll find any evidence here. You're welcome to ask what you want, seeing how I figure you would anyway. Please You're not wrong. Hell. Standing up like this makes a body forget how stiff it gets, bent over plants all day. Oh, seems I'm not as young as I feel. <laughs> You're a botanist. Uh, then why do you seem so pale? Tan. Oh my you know god. I just spend too much time inside. Truly, I am ashamed of my craft. Did Halcyon Helen uh, come through here at all? Indeed. Tromped in and out of the conservatory with no heed for anyone else. Good thing none of my charges were damaged. Starlet or not, 
I would have had a harsh word for her. I heard she pushed her way into a tour of the RR and DD labs not soon after. She's just a serial actress. Yet she acts like she's deserved of the same access as a co-CEO. Well, she's not going anywhere ever again. Which is a shame, of course. Taken too soon and all. Something's very off about this guy. But at least he didn't lie to me. Congratulations, Inspector. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. There's a you lot of footsteps. Belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. There's literally evidence everywhere, and I I'm get I don't know where to go. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. What do you have on you? More footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. There's literally clues everywhere. It's insane. More feet. I do kind of want to look at what this is. So she came this way now. Who's that guy over there? Or is this a... Oh! What's up, buddy? Oh! Get out of here! Die! Oh my god, dude. I feel so bad for these guys. Like, legit, I really do. Max is down. Where are you at? Come here. Look at, there's so many of them, dude. They just keep coming. Get out of here. Oh, I thought he was dead. How did those not hit him? Dude, there's so many of them. Oh my god, dude. Get out of here. I don't want to be your friend. You guys are creepy. No, thank you. Don't want any of that in my life. So that's just an orchard's worker. This guy hasn't been corrupted yet. Which is interesting how some are and some aren't. I'm very curious. Are these people are being selected? I don't know. I just don't know. Let's check this building out real quick. Man, I legit feel bad for all these guys, dude. Who knows? Maybe we could have fixed them, you know? Or helped them out. I wonder where I find the key to this place. Because it doesn't look like there's a way in. But let's check over on this platform and see if we can find anything in particular that might assist us in our journey to find out what's ha what exactly is happening in this location, dude. There's a lot of uh, <clears throat> very disturbing things going on. Alright, let's check this one. Oh, there's an underground cave or something. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Uh, where? Oh, literally right in front of me. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Haha. -ha. Auto mechanical control. Oh, I don't have access to this. And my hacking is way too low. That sucks. I want to know why they were attacking. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. 
Sounds like something's... Oh, there it is. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Okay, that's gonna get old really fast. Oh, I didn't even see the primals. But is it a friendly? Drunk Ravager? No, nope, it's not. Ow! Die! Oh god, I'm getting rocks thrown at me. Die! Get out of here! Dude, there's so many, so many deadly things in this place, I swear. I think I'm just gonna... Alright, let me, let me unequip that and that. I just want to keep two things just to make it easy to get between two. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Uh... Watch out, Captain. Oh, God. Switch. I didn't mean to get caught. Look at him fly. Die! Dude, Vickers' science weapon is seriously the shit. It really is. Let's see and make sure. Oh, yeah, she came over there. Energy cells. We'll take that. Oh, wait, there's a key card here. What is this for? Oh, I don't. The auto mechanical access terminal. I'm gonna go ex check that out in a second. Whoops. What? Uh, the shaft of the toss ball stick is bent and cracked. And that looks more than bent and cracked. That definitely looks broken. Wicker detected, embedded within the chunks of dark matter. Wicker is not a known ingredient of the dark matter product. 200 melee 65. These sticks are sturdy. Whoever broke it must have been stronger, angry, or both. The only members of a toss ball team strong enough to crack a stick in two are the dedicated hackers, like Black Hole Birdie. Whatever Ms. Ruth Bellamy must have relayed to the toss ball hacker during their picnic together instigated a furious increase in his usual strength threshold by 52%. I seen Birdie snap a toss ball stick in half before. It happened right after the Darlings stole the quarterfinals from the Rangers last year. Good to know. So, I will say this. I think it's too obvious that it's him. So much so that it might not actually be him. If that makes any sense. Yeah, I'll put this on. Dodge, I think, improves the armor rating. Alright, well, let's go back. To the auto mechanical access control since we got the key now i like how it's all hidden i'm not gonna lie pretty clever but still let me see recall exterminator auto mechanicals yes are they coming back No, that's the biped mechanical. Oh, there they are. Yes, go away. I wonder if they're actually going to dock up. Let's look real quick. Yeah, they actually do dock up. That's pretty cool. I like that. That looks awesome. Alright, well that's good. We solved that problem. However, we have this over here that we gotta take care of. What is this? Analysis. This discarded canister is typical of the R-mounted storage tanks on the orchard's agricultural mechanicals. However, it is not currently attached to a mechanical. This no. canister contains a high amount of vinegar in addition to water. Warning. <laughs> Use of vinegar, a known herbicide on purpleberry saplings, is a violation of Rizzo's agricultural standards. 
I just want to know why it's all the way over here. Uh, discrepancy amplifier. What are these canisters? Uh, where are these canisters usually kept? These canisters can typically be found in the nursery storage building in the Purpleberry Orchards, except for this one, which can be found here. <laughs> you don't say. Uh, inhale a deep chemical analysis. So this is definitely gonna get me faded, but I'm stupid, so let's do this anyways. Chemical makeup of substance. 50% water, 50% vinegar. Trace amounts of woolly cow feces also detected. Ew. Good to know, thank you. Uh-oh. I see some more. Let's not fight them yet. I wanna look in here first. Even their hives are menacing. <laughs> Are these bad guys? Yeah, they're bad guys. Incoming. I got him. I feel bad, but it's gotta be done. Stop throwing things at me. Ugh. Get out of here. I feel horrible, man. I'm not even gonna lie. I feel horrible. There's gotta be something here, though. Some sort of a clue. It's sealed. Where? So it's not over here. Maybe it's on the other side. You know what? It's probably inside. But if it's sealed, how do I get in there? That is a very good question. I don't know. I mean, there's got to be a way inside. But I, I it, it has to be later. All right, where are these guys at? Hey, what's up, buddy? You! Stop invading people's minds slash necks. They're absolutely disgusting if I do say so myself. I thought I recalled these things. I thought I fried them. Or, uh, uh not fried them, but, uh, recalled them. Okay, well, it doesn't look like there's anything else over here, so let's go... There is something in there. I can see it from over here. But it's on the other side of the wall. So let's find a way inside of this place so that we can continue on with our investigation. And I can hear some more of these things. How do I get in there? Found it. It's a, it's a literal maze. Never mind. It's not a maze. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Uh, are you gonna let me analyze, or there you go. This console is ninety-five percent non-functional. Remaining five percent functionality stems from display reading. Console non-functional. <laughs> is most likely related to purple residue splattered all across the keyboard. Taste the residue. <laughs> Uh, that's probably not wise, Captain. You don't know... Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, we'll perform a chemical analysis. Substance contains trace amounts of purple berries, fruit flavors, <laughs> and artificial sweeteners number 35, number 49, number 240, number 322, number 314, and many, many, many others. Yep, sounds like a lot. We'll inspect it. Well, that's great. Look closely at the console tells you not much. There are a lot of buttons. Okay, well, at least we know that. What are we going to find over here? Those things sound gross. 
There's a lot of loot back here. Let's uh, break this weapon down real quick. Okay, come on. Oh, it's not even here. What am I doing? I'm not finding a lot of evidence that's... Uh, like, all I'm doing is finding the her, her route, but I'm not finding any evidence, like any strong evidence. Uh, I really don't want to read that right now. Uh, maybe I'll come back at a later time. Right now I just want to get to that other place. Dwight Hathaway. Let's commence to talk to him again. Hopefully he has something interesting to say. Now that we uh, recalled the uh, killer auto mechanicals or whatever they're back, called. I see. Glad Slug hasn't managed to scare you off. Nah, that'll I scare me. It's more of a wonder that nothing in these law forsaken orchards has managed to kill them. How's the investigation going? You got a complete report for me yet? Uh, kind of. I've completed my investigation. I, I guess. <laughs> All right. Let's hear the details. A drink was spilled over the processing console, shorting it out. A drink? I ain't never heard of no saboteur dumping drinks all over equipment to destroy it. Maybe it was just an accident. I hate to say it, but that sounds more like worker carelessness. How many times do I have to tell you this, old man? Slug isn't behind your problems. Slug wouldn't even need to cause you problems. Your own workers do enough. Relax, guy. You're still an extortionist. A herbicide was mixed in with uh, the fertilizer, which ended up killing the spatlings. Ha! New slug was behind the damn sabotage. Please. We're subtle, but that's too subtle. If we wanted to destroy your saplings, you'd have known them by the blackened remnants of their stems, not some half-assed poisoning. Well, either way, I took care of the uh, exterminator auto mechanicals. Huh. You didn't destroy any of them? Reckon I would have lost that bet. Thanks. One less expense for you to explain to your bosses, Hathaway. Lucky you. So what were the fine details of the sabotage anyhow? Were slugs lackeys trying to get the mechanicals to kill all our waspquitos? I should have... I should have read the terminals. Uh... Your weirdest slug is trying to mess with your livelihood? Of course. And what better way to do that than by targeting our pollinizers? It'd be a hell of a pain to kill manually, but if you set the mechanicals to do it... In your delusional fantasy, the Waspquitos wouldn't be out until next pollinization cycle. Wouldn't someone notice the rampant mechanicals beforehand? That seems like a question you should be asking yourself. <laughs> Is there a way to manually initiate pollinization cycle? Well, yes, it's possible to manually start and end cycles in Hive Control, but we keep a careful watch on it. And there have been no non rizos personnel in or out. Stop wasting everyone's time, Hathaway. What you're proposing is infinitely less likely than an idiot maneuver by one of your incompetent workers. I won't hear any further slander. Let's go through this one final time so even you can't confuse it, Hathaway. Slug didn't do a damn thing to your orchards. You're chasing ghosts. Talk about ghosts all you like, but someone was screwing with my orchards. If it wasn't Slug, then who the hell was it? Nah, no, honestly, I have no idea. Well, let's say nothing. You picked a hell of a time to lose your tongue over there, friend. Oh, never mind. I, guess I can't force you to tell me anything. But the peace of mind would have been worth much to me. Right now, we of the orchards have to settle things with Slug. I reckon that you're about as impartial a third party as we're gonna get. Can you mediate? Ah, sure. what the hell. The Orchardist seems to get off on complicating what should be a simple deal. But at this point, I just want to be paid and go. The pollen in the air is agitating. You, you tell it to the people that are nonstop smiling in the orchards. Uh...
Yeah, Slug's presence is making productivity in the orchards worse. Don't give them another bit. Thanks for siding with us, friend. I'll make sure to put in a good word with the admin for you. Really now? After all that, you decide to stiff us? Fine. That's your prerogative. But I think you'll realize in time that you made the wrong choice. Honestly, he's 100% an extortionist. I don't like it. It's hindering... Uh-oh. I got reputation decreased. Wait, do I actually have... Oh yeah, they added a new... Both of these are brand new. Wow. I got 2% positive and 2% po Wow. My reputation kind of sucks. So where... What's my active quest? Yeah, I definitely don't want that one. So we got more to do in here. RR and DD. But I need a key card for that because we went there before where we got attacked by all those psycho people. I don't know. There's got to be... There's got to be something over there. Let's go find out.